Hey guys, welcome to TechRate Reviews. One of the best ways to customize your device is through launchers, so today I'm going to be counting down the top 5 launchers for Android. For all of the ones that I mentioned, there will be a link down below in the description. While most of the launchers I'm going to be talking about are free, some do have paid or pro versions where you can get some more features. Starting off the list at number 1 is Nova Launcher. Now this is basically my launcher of choice on a daily basis. I really like how quick and snappy it is, and I have the pro version so I can unlock certain things like gestures, where I can use multiple fingers or one finger to program gestures so I can quickly access apps or multitasking and set any app to open based on certain gestures. Within the settings, you also get extreme levels of customization. So here you can apply different icon packs, including Google KitKat themed one. If you want to download one from the Play Store, that's available. I do like the Stark icon pack. And it's super easy to apply these. You just go into Nova settings and you're pretty much done. You also get many choices of home screen scrolling effects. So that's what happens when you scroll through your home pages. And there's really no limit to how much you can customize Nova Launcher. So that's why it's taking number one as my favorite launcher on this list. Number two is Action Launcher. So this is definitely one of the most unique launchers out there. Instead of your traditional app drawer with an icon right here to access it, you swipe in from the side to access your apps. And if you swipe in from the right corner, you can access a set of apps that you've predetermined to always be there. By default, it will just put in your most used apps, but you also get access to Google Now and other services that you use. It also has a special kind of gestures called covers, which are basically on certain apps, if you swipe up on them, you'll get an option where you can instantly skip to certain parts of the app. Let's say it was the phone app, and every time you swiped up on it, you want it to go to your recent calls instead of the dial pad, so you'd program the gesture here, and then as soon as you swiped up on that, it would instantly go to your recent calls. Number three is Smart Launcher. While all of the launchers on this list are extremely customizable, this personalizes it to yourself automatically without you having to do anything. So at setup, you can choose the apps you use for different services. After you customize it, it'll have a home screen where it has those apps you just set up. And also it will learn from the apps you use most and it will place them in these circles so you don't have to go to as much work to find the apps you're using all the time. While you don't have multiple home screens, you do have a traditional app drawer where you can scroll through the different categories such as internet, social and communication, and games. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of it, but it's definitely unique and it does save me time by just giving me access to my most used apps really quickly right from the home screen, so I definitely recommend checking it out. Number four is Launcher 8 Free. So as you can tell, it doesn't really look like Android in any way, but instead is mimicking Windows 8 Mobile. So right here you have your live tiles where you get previews of things within certain apps. And if you swipe over to the right, you'll get access to all of your apps in a long alphabetized list, which sometimes can be hard if you have lots of apps and there's something way at the bottom. But if it's near the top, it's pretty easy to access generally. This is a great launcher to use for a little while if you've just got bored with Android for some reason and want to use something different, or you just really like how Windows Phone acts and you want to be able to get that without buying a new phone. Number five is ADW Launcher. Usually I would just use Apex or Nova Launcher, but I include this on this list because it's a great way to get an experience that looks a little bit more like stock Android if you're on a phone that's running Android 4.0 or below, because both Apex and Nova Launcher require you to be using a phone running Android 4.0 or above. As always guys, thanks for watching, and if you like these videos, make sure to like and subscribe, it really helps out, and don't forget to check out these launchers, I'll have links for all of them down below in the description.